G'day, Nathan from Ozaka here again. I'm just going to continue discussion from the last video. So if you haven't watched the last video, you probably need to skip back to that one. Uh, I was discussing about doing live, a live, what I call a live elevations, not live elevations, a live elevations. So it's actually just creating a viewport, setting it to hide, to hidden view, which means that when it actually prints, uh, we'll just do that again. When it actually prints, we'll do a preview. It'll actually hide the lines and give you a live elevation of the model. Now it's down and dirty. It's not completely beautiful. It does funny things there. That's actually a ridge line that should block out that hatching. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes lines don't do properly. There's actually two roof objects in there. Um, you know, so it's it's not completely tidy. But I just wanted to quickly make the point about this whiteout here. To get that to work, it's critical when you plot. So I'll go back to that plot dialog. It's critical that you plot paper space last. What that does is it makes oops, it makes this whiteout print over the top of the model itself. If you don't have that ticked, that whiteout will be these lines that I'm hiding here, this line work that I'm hiding here will actually get printed. So just a, a quick uh, quick review of that again. Um, what, we, what we got there is we've got a nice clean wall. It's a two-story wall. There's actually one wall on top of another wall. Uh, ground floor wall, upper floor wall, but it looks like one wall. I've got rid of that line. The way I've done it, a down and dirty method here. If I get rid of that, just put that to one side for a sec, and let's have a look at what happens there. You'll get line. Oops, and you get another line. Whatever's happening there. All right. So that's just a down. And obviously, I've got the white out here still blocking out that. Uh, yep. So th that's uh, that's it. That's how I do it. I uh, should mention also the obvious question of how to do annotations on a live model. Um, basically, it's just done in paper space. Um, so I have a, a little text tool up here that uh, calls up a style that's just uh, at one is to one. And I just add my text in paper space. Uh, and then it's not, uh, you're not trying to do text at a funny angle in your model space. Um, you can actually do dimensions here. Uh, I'll just set that, yep. Uh, so for example, if I was dimensioning a ceiling height here, and you can see, of course, it's dimensioning in paper space. Um, there is some newer tricks uh, in terms of annotation. I don't use them yet, but uh, you can use them to dimension across. However, if I just change here to match my paper space scale so my viewport if I could select it is set at 1 is to 100 so I just get my dimension which is drawn at one scale dimension scale at one and I change the linear scale to a uh, to 100 to match that and then it's actually dimensioning the um, well whatever's in the viewport so it's, it's scaling it up 100 times yeah. Come back. Uh, I'd love to share with you s some tricks about using the roof object. It's a clever tool. It does have limitations, but to be honest, they are way past what you ever thought they were. There's lots of tips and tricks that I'd love to share with you. So uh, come back soon. And as I said, comment. Cheers, guys.